In this video I will show you how to repair a broken fan in your MacBook Pro for free uh, and uh, saving you uh, your hard-earned money. Check my SSD installation video to know how to disassemble the palm rest and keyboard area on this computer. So removing the three bolts is quite easy. You have to remove one in each corner as I see as I show in the video. Do this carefully, not to lose the bolts inside the case. Now I am removing the ribbons that connect the light sensor and the fan to the logic board. Ensure that there is not anything still holding the fan in place, it should come out without applying too much force. Don't strain the wires, because if they break, you are in deep trouble. And here is the fan, removed successfully without applying too much force. Now it's time to remove the two black bolts that hold the frame to the, to the fan. And we will now be able to remove the fan from the shroud. Revealing the motor and the fan blades. Now very carefully pry out with your hands, don't use any tools not to damage anything or break any blades. Remove the, the fan blade area from the motor. Now I'm using a bit of uh, compressed air to apply it to the fan and uh, clean the debris that may have accumulated in the shaft. Apply some lube to these, uh, to these moving parts. I am using a silicone based lubricant because um, you can use a W40 but uh, this sort of lubricant is better because it's designed for uh, the chains of the um, of the motorcycles and the bicycles and the, the difference is that it will not stick dirt so easily because it's silicon based so i recommend that you use this to uh, apply a light coat of lubricant to these moving parts now that we have applied lubricant we take a bit of uh, paper towel for example and we place it in the in the parts to absorb the excess uh, excess lubricant the reassembly process is fairly simple i just wanted to point out uh, a particular aspect align that notch with the bracket on the metal part you see now reassembling the fan to the shroud is very easy, just bolt on those two black bolts. Slide the fan carefully uh, back into its place. Be careful not to uh, apply force to any of the wires. Uh, place the sensor, the light sensor, back underneath its transparent lens, as I am showing here. Yeah, the tape goes over the sensor. Reconnect the two wires that run from the sensor and to the fan respectively to the logic board. Reattach the tape. And now it's just a matter of putting the bolts back together to hold the fan against the metal chassis. Check that everything is correct and uh, tighten the bolts on two passes because the, the holes will not line up correctly at the, the first time, at least it will be hard. So not to force anything, tighten in two biases.